Hello, my YouTube family. Well, it is 6.20, a little late, but I had to stop off at the Dunkin' Donuts for, for dinner because I had to stop off at the Dunkin' Donuts for dinner. So um, it is 6.20, and it is 6.19-2013, and it is a Wednesday. Happy, happy hump day. This is the day that you should be watching that Geico commercial with the camel when he's walking around the office. What day is it? What day is it today? What day is it today? Mike, 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 Mike. Come on, what day is it? What day is it? Oh, come on. Y'all know the commercial I'm talking about by now. I already posted it. I posted it up on my Facebook, and I, I and y'all have to look it up on the YouTube because y'all know. It's a Geico commercial with the camel. That's all I have to say. It's hump day. So there you have it. Now, what day is it today? What day is it today? Yes, it is, honey. It is a red lip day. And this, do not walk, do not crawl. You have to run to your nearest drugstore to get this lipstick. For real. Because this is the smoothest lipstick. It goes on so light and so smooth that half the day I thought I didn't have anything on my lips. And I had to keep checking. Of course, you got lipstick on your lips, Nance. But it is so feather light. I don't know. I'll tell you what it is in a minute. I lined my lip with the Jordana Plush Red. Jordana Plush Red. And here is the lipstick, people. It's nothing, it's nothing out of the ordinary. Revlon, super lustrous. You can see the red in there. 740 certainly red. This is a classic Marilyn Monroe 1950s pinup girl red. For real. This is it. I mean, just looking at it, it just says classic. It's just a classic red, can't go wrong lipstick. This is the ish, people. This is the ish. And I know I forgot the swatch yesterday, but here is the swatch today. A classic, lightly blue-toned red. I say lightly because you don't, it's not a heavy blue base. It's very light. It's not orange by any means. It's a classic red, not a matte. It is a cream. This is the ish of a lipstick. I have never, I don't think I've ever enjoyed wearing a lipstick as much as this one. This is the ish. And if there's going to be a red lipstick that I've actually finished, this may be the one. This is it, people. What? Stay put doesn't go anywhere smooth, creamy, but not creamy, creamy. Just, I just absolutely adore this lipstick. And I have to thank Crystalis 007. She's the one that, she did a review on this, or she bought it. And, um, of course, I had to buy it. And I'm so glad I did. This is an old-fashioned, I mean, it's been around the block. It's like, it's pretty much been out there as long as cherries in the snow. Certainly red. And I have been sleeping on it, sleeping on it, sleeping on it, just passing it by, just passing it by. It's a good thing that I'm still young enough to wear lipstick. Because this is the ish. Well, I think I'm going to be wearing lipstick till the day I die. But, you know. You know what I'm saying. Revlon Super Lustrous. Go out and get this lipstick. I'm telling you, this one is the ish, people. This one is the ish. I have a ton of Super Lustrous lipsticks, as you know. Love each and every one of them. Maybe one is an iffy out of all of them that I have, maybe one or two. This one I think is numero uno. I don't know, it might be the formulation. I don't I I don't understand how I just don't feel it on my lips. I just do not feel it on my lips. It is just a fantastic light feathery barely kissing your lips lipstick. I I can't say enough good things about it. I absolutely adore this. 740, certainly red, 
cream. It is, I think it's the, for, it's, got, it's obviously got to be the formulation. And I have other cream super lustrous lipsticks, but for some reason, this particular one, maybe I caught a good batch or something, but this is the ish. I cannot say it enough. I really don't even know what else to say. I have, I have no words. Love, 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 love. It's all about the love. Love it. And it does stain a little bit. Very barely there. It does stain. It does stain, but you know what? It's worth it. Worth it. So glad I purchased this. So glad I purchased this. So um, that's it, people. Um, I don't really think I have any stories for you. Yes, I think I do. Ah, Pet Finder emailed me back after I had sent them my complaint. I did have something to tell you. They emailed me back, and they were basically saying, you know, I hope this does the, the, the experience that you had. I think I told you that before, that they wrote me back. But um, they wrote me back again to, I guess, to reiterate the fact that not all of the agencies and adoption shelters are going to give me the experience that I had from yesterday. So, or the day before. Was it the day before already? I, days go by so damn fast. I don't even know. But they wanted to reiterate to me that, you know, please keep looking for your pet. And um, we really apologize for your the first time of you having such a bad experience and blah, blah, blah. It was a really nice, well-written email. So, you know, I took it into consideration. I'm still looking on Pet Finder. But you know what? A lot of people tell me that, and even on the PetFinder.com, there's, there's an article that says you may look for the cat that you, you may find the cat that you, that you want. But it's not until you go to a shelter or you go to an adoption a national event that the cat will find you. And Dana, I know you've told me this before. Dana has often said this. You can look for the cat that you want, and it may or may not be there. But suppose you, you go for the, the cat that you want is there, and it hisses at you, and it doesn't like you, and for whatever reason, you, it just it, it doesn't want to have nothing to do with you. It looked cute on the site, but... This cat is obviously not meant for you. There will be a cat. I don't know how they go about it. I, I can't explain it because I, I haven't had it explained to me when they say the cat will find you. I guess it's it's they come up to you, they purr at you, they, they, they crawl around your leg or whatever, or it'll just come to you and it'll just it'll just draw you in. So I guess all of me looking at Luke and Simba Bella and all of that, it's all well and nice. At least I know the type of cat that I want. I know the exact type of cat. But it may not be Luke, for all I know. And it definitely wasn't Simba Bella, as you well know. There's another one called Junior. Love me some Junior. Junior is the same exact cat as, as um, as, damn. Junior is the same black cat. It is not Simba Bella. He is the same black cat as, um, damn. Simba Bella. Luke. He's the same black cat as Luke. The same type of cat. Absolutely gorgeous to die for. He looks adorable. Now, suppose I go looking for Luke. And why am I? Wow, Nancy. Wow. The memory. I can't. I just said the name, Luke and Junior. Do you see? Like a total brain brain fart. Like one right after the other, just farting, farting, farting. That's that's the old age brain coming to you. Like I said, I could be going to see Luke, and I could be going to see Junior. And suppose they're just not. Suppose somebody already adopted Junior. Then then now what you gonna do? And suppose Luke is hissing at you, and he don't want to have nothing to do with you. Now what you're going to do? I'm not going to give up. So I guess I'm just going to have to go with an open mind and just wait until one finds me. But I'm hoping it's a black cat because I really want a black cat 
to approach me. That's the cat I want. It's the type of cat I want. It's a black cat that I really, really want. So, not that I would... I don't know if I would turn down another cat. Like, suppose it's a tabby cat that really wants me to take it home. What do I do? Oh, my God. Suppose it's a yellow tabby. What do I do? Do I take the tabby home because it, 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 it picked me? It chose me? It's going to look at me at those, look with those eyes? Like, you know that cat in Shrek? You know the cat I'm talking about, Puss in Boots? Suppose he looks at me with those big, big brown eyes. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? And what am I going to say? No, I cannot take you home because you're not a black cat. What do you do in a situation like that? Y'all going to have to hit me up on this one because I just, I just gave myself a situation that I don't even know how I would get myself out of. Do I take that cat? Is the, This is the cat that chose me? Or do I wait for a cat that is black that will choose me? I am confused now. It's a good thing September is a, is a, a ways away because I've got some thinking to do. I've got some thinking to do. What? I mean, you know, I, I will go. I've never been to a shelter ever. I've, I've, this is going to be the first time. I don't think I've ever been to a shelter. I really do not think so. I've been to a petting zoo when I was younger, but a petting zoo is not a shelter. So that's apples and oranges, Nancy. I don't even know why you brought it up. You know what I'm talking about. But this is foreign territory for me. Okay, foreign. So any of you who know the situation, Deb, you've been hitting me up with the whole application thing and and you know it's the application is short of asking for your firstborn and your blood type. Pretty much, Deb, is what you're telling me that that application to fill that application out, the adoption shelter application, apparently this thing is intense. And suppose they ask for a reference, which I'm almost sure that they will. Who do I who do I ask who, who do I put that down? M my father's not supposed to know, so I can't put him down as a reference. And this is my first cat, so who do I put down as a reference? Hit me up, people. Y'all are gonna have to walk me through this situation. Walk me through it, cause I I am completely confused. So enough of that. This was lips of the day. Cutie admitted to me today, outright admitted to me today, that he was in a foul mood. I was like, okay. But he was talking to me, but there was an undercurrent of, I am so pissed off, I really want to blow. So I asked him, um, well, you know, I'm pushing borders with him. Because you are, he's already telling me that he's pissed off, but here I go pushing the border anyway. So, about yesterday, what you said, you know, that somebody you had a talking to, what was that about? Well, apparently, with all the responsibility that he has now that his supervisor has been fired, and apparently they are not going to rehire anybody, all of whatever the supervisor did now falls on him. So, he already had responsibility when his supervisor was there, but now he's got added responsibility. But they are not, I don't know if they're up in his pay. And they're not giving him a title. So he's still a facilities consultant or a facilities assistant. I think that's what it is. So he's pissed off about that as well as he should be. But apparently out of everything that he was doing yesterday, the one thing that he did not do, they called him out on it. So he was like, yeah, the, um, he forgot to, like, his job at the end of the day is to, at the end of each Friday, is to clean out the refrigerators. And anything that's been sitting there, you know, he sends out a, a weekly email. Anybody who's got stuff in the refrigerator at 6 o'clock, please clear it out. If you want to take it home, take it home because I'm clearing out the refrigerators and whatever stays is going in the garbage. So, he must have just been so tired last Friday that he just walked out and he, he, he did what he had to do. He did the day's work and he just did not do the refrigerators. He probably said, screw it. I'm not going to do the, they could, they could wait. Well, they didn't wait. 
and he got called on the carpet for it. So that's what he's really pissed off about because everything that he does do, nobody says good job, good job, good job. But the one thing, it's, it's always the case. Y'all know this. You could be the best fill in the blank in the entire company. The one screw up that you did, that's what everybody focuses on. Like, I do this, 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 and I forgot to do this. Screw all of this that you do. Why didn't you do this? You know it's your job to do this. Why weren't you supposed So that is what he is pissed off about. I do not blame him one single solitary bit for being pissed off. But that's just the American way. That's the way companies work these days. And unless you hit the lottery and tell your boss you could kiss my ass, you're just going to have to swallow it and say, okay, I'll remember this Friday and keep it moving. So I can understand why he's a little pissed. I get it. I absolutely get it. I understand it. It's happened to every single one of us. So that was what he was called on the carpet about yesterday. And so I told you once I would find out, I would let you know. You know I got to fill you in. And that's that. And basically that's it with a nutshell. Miss Miss um Miss Lunch Lady uh, she came in today, yes, but she has taken me in her confidence to bitch and moan about this divorce that she's going through. I really don't need to know the details. Plus, she keeps repeating the same thing over and over and over again, and I'm tired. I am tired of hearing it. But, mm, and just go, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, oh, yeah, girl, I understand. Yeah, you'll be okay, you'll be okay. I say the same thing. She says the same thing, and I say the same thing. How many times? How many different ways can you tell me that you're miserable? How many different ways can you tell me you're miserable? And he's not the one that asked for the divorce. You did. So what? You just thought it was just going to be easy peasy? I do not ask for the drama that comes in my job, people. I just attract it for some reason. I work alone. I am an island onto myself. But here they come. And it was quite busy around my, my area today. And I do not like when it gets busy, busy. Y'all need to keep it moving. Why do people feel the need to have meetings? They tell me, Nancy, I'm expecting such and such as the guest so-and-so a time. They already scheduled a, a, a conference room for it. Okay, fine. Why y'all having half the meeting in the, in the reception area? Take your guests to the conference room. I don't need to hear, you know, I had to put the BMW in the in the um in the mechanic store and I'm using the infinity. I I'm happy for you. You got two cars. I'm happy for you. I don't I don't really I'm not impressed. If you if you're bragging for me, you you could keep talking because I really I just don't care. Keep it moving. Take your guests into the conference room where you're supposed to have the meeting there. Why are y'all talking business here and I'm answering phones and I cannot hear what the person on the other end is saying because you're busy talking here in my area where I'm working. Speaking of another situation, why is it women feel the need to have a cell phone conversation in the ladies room? Why is that? Why is that? I walked into the ladies' room, and at first I thought nobody was there because it was really quiet. Then I go to the to the, the um, stall, the very last stall, and apparently, all of a sudden, I hear, "Yeah, girl." Well, how many times did I have to tell you? I was like, "For real, you you're having a loud ass conversation in the ladies' room here," and she wasn't a damn bit embarrassed, not a damn bit embarrassed. Just talking all loud, just having the conversation in the stall. It's not like she had finished doing her business and she was standing there, you know, after you wash your hands or what. Oh, no. No, no. She was in the stall. So the person that she was talking to heard her flush, heard her do her business. Like, you cannot hold the conversation until after you get out of the room. Even if you have to take the phone with you. 
and the call comes in. You can't like hit not accept or whatever and then call the person back after you're done. You have to have the conversation in the ladies room. That is so tacky. I think it's the tackiest thing. I really do. But hey, I did my business. Maybe that person heard me doing my business too. I don't know. Did my business, washed my hands, got the hell out. Because for real, Woo. I, I don't know if that was a vent or what have you, but you know, this was my day just today. And I've got two more to go. Three down. Thank you, Jesus. Two more to go. All right, people. I have said my say. I'm over 20. Good Lord, have mercy. Okay. Lips, let me know what you think because you already know. Run, do not walk. Certainly red. Revlon Super Lustrous. I say no more. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. And I will hit you up right afterwards. Okay? You know I love you. I love my YouTube family. And I will maybe or maybe not talk to you tomorrow. Because you know tomorrow's Thursday. That's, that's pot day. So we don't know what kind of mood he'll be in. Kick me to the curb or lengthy conversation. If you see me, then you know what it is. If you don't see me, then you know what it is. I love you. Bye now.